Welcome back once again to another meatball review hosted by yours truly, Dr. Wreckball. And I guess you could say I'm a bit of a meatball magician. Because uh, whenever there's a plate of them next to me, I always find a way to make them disappear. On this episode, I'm going to be trying something new once again. These meatballs were suggested to me by uh, Three Wise Men media member Shannon. Today, I'm going to be trying some... Uh, plant-based meatballs. Now, I don't know how you can have no meat in something and still call it a meatball. Uh, but then again, I, I've been called meatball and I I'm clearly not a meatball. I'm not a meatball. So, I'm going to review it and I'll give it a score from Dr. Wrecking Ball. Now, Dr. Wrecking Ball is a uh, Never had anything plant based, so I assume that I should just be able to open this out of the package and just dive right in. Uh, from Pure Farmland, plant based meatballs. Got a pretty good sized, uh, you know, feels a lot colder than normal meatballs I eat, but um, hey, let's try it. Oh, oh, no. Oh. I don't think I'm supposed to eat them this way. Uh, yeah, apparently I'm supposed to put these in the oven. If I had to give these meatballs a review, these plant-based meatballs, uh, a review just based off uh, trying it, I'm going to have to go with at least 2 out of 10, but I'm going to try cooking them and see if they can get a higher score. <laughs> I'm not a meatball. Alright, now that these balls are nice and warm, let's throw a pair in my mouth. Plant-based meatballs, uh, take two. Oh yeah, definitely a lot better cooked. I gotta say, I can't believe that there's no meat in here. Uh, it's really delicious. Uh, I like the texture. Uh, seven, seven out of ten meatballs for, uh, for these plant-based meatballs. Well, if you like what you've seen and you want to see me eat more meatballs, leave a comment. Let Three Wives of Media know and they're going to pay and send them for me to eat. Well, I've been Dr. Wreckingball and I'm not a meatball. Mmm.